this video and welcome back to the Redstone Invasion channel. Here we go with attempt number two of recording, actually with audio this time. Um, today we've got a randomizer which I happen to hook up for, to a uh, whole bunch of dispensers with fireworks uh, for the New Year's. Happy New Year's, you guys. Um, it was a good year last year and we can't wait to continue redstoning in the year of 2013. Uh, right, so uh, this randomizer uses redstone torches instead of fire, so that should be less laggy. It's pretty closely tieable, very compact, and yeah, let's just go ahead and show you guys. Um, uh, this design you can turn on and off, as you can see. And here's all the wiring for the uh, randomizers. Um, pretty compact, as you can see. And yeah, so as I said, this design uses um, redstone torch randomizing. So uh, the idea is that the redstone torch can be chosen as the random block to be updated um, rather than fire, fire spread, or something like that. Um, so while this is a button by itself, this torch can randomly update by itself. Um, the idea is that this torch is actually being depowered, but it doesn't reflect that. When the game selects this redstone torch to be updated, it'll retract that piston, point the redstone away, turn the torch back on, extend the piston again, that'll become a dot, and it'll reset itself. Um, the way you turn this thing on and off is by powering this dot of redstone on or off, like so. So now the randomizer is off, now it is on. And uh, so what Wintag and I did to, um, so yeah. We first saw this design on Zool's test world. That was pretty cool. We extended the uh, the we extended the likelihood that it uh, that this randomizer could go off by adding more torches. So this thing is six times as likely to go off than that one. Then I tried to add as many torches as I could. Uh, here's eight torches rather than six. Once again, let me just turn this thing on. However, when you place a torch on top of here, it turns into a clock, and I'm not really sure why. Um, so, but this still has eight torches. That only has six. So this is more, still more likely than that to go off, even though you can't place torches on top. Uh, let's just go ahead and build this thing. This thing is not direction dependent, which is pretty cool. So let's just go ahead and get started. You're gonna place a sticky piston one block above the ground. You're gonna come out three. Then you're gonna place another sticky piston facing the first. You're gonna cut out two of those blocks. You're gonna leave one on the ground below those two, in between those two pistons. Uh, you're gonna place redstone then lead that up a block you're gonna place uh, blocks on either side of that redstone torches all around and then as I said to turn this thing on you just need to power that dot of redstone and the way I did that in there so that I could turn it on and off is with torches however I would recommend if you want to leave this thing permanently on just powering it with a lever or something like of the sort so you could do something like that uh, now if you want to tile this thing if you want all the randomizers to be completely random, then you do have to remove two of these torches, otherwise it will go ahead and interrupt with the other ones. However, if you're hooking it up to fireworks, it could create some pretty cool firing sequences. Um, the way you tile this thing, I would just recommend placing a block here for guidance, then go ahead and place that there, and then lead that down. So redstone on top of a block, and then lead that down, and then this is where your next set of pistons will be. I'm going to do the same deal. You're just going to come either side, you're going to place, remember, only torches up there and there, not on the side there. However, everywhere else, if you want to use this anywhere else for only one at a time, then it is perfectly fine to have torches on the side. Uh, there you go. And then you just going to, if you want to turn this thing off, then you could just go ahead and lead this around. You're going to have to use a half slab in order to prevent from that torch powering it. And then there you go. So now you have your randomizers, you can turn them off. And now they are off. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, to get an output from one of these things, you're going to take this redstone here and just lead it wherever you want. You cannot lead it here because that will create a clock. So you'll have to lead that down and then back up or something of the sort. You can lead this around like that. Uh, what I did in there is I just placed a block there and then I placed a dispenser right uh, right here and then the, the reason that this this just yeah that the reason that this dispenser will go off twice is because this is actually being powered at the moment and it's being updated twice when the redstone turns off on and when the redstone turns off so that's pretty cool um, I hope that's I hope that's it because I've recorded this video like 12 times now I don't want to do it again uh, so yeah, I guess this has been the Redstone Invasion channel.
I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to check out our past stuff, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, Happy New Year. Uh, can't wait for 2013, which we're in. Oh, yeah.